Hello, I hope you have a good day. I want to show you how I use the coordinator pattern. And um, disclaimer, I'm still using UI kit because I didn't get used to Swift UI. I tried it a few times, but it, at the moment it's not for me. So I'm still using the coordinator pattern and UI kit. So and I want to show you how the coordinator pattern, uh, how I use the coordinator pattern. Um, the coordinator pattern consists of the protocol coordinator and this consists or defines only one method, the start method. And in my case, the start method returns a view controller. You might have seen other coordinator pattern implementations where the start method doesn't return anything and sometimes there's even also a view controller like a navigation controller also defined in the protocol. But for me, Wait a minute, my battery is draining. But for me, this is what I use and what I like to use, the coordinator pattern with this <clears throat> start method that returns a view controller. And I want to show you how I use it. So when I open the scene delegate, I make a bit more room here. The scene delegate, first of all, creates a window scene. Um, you might have seen that already. And um, then I create a window because I don't use a storyboard for my view controller setup or the navigation setup. And um, then I create the app coordinator and let's see how the app coordinator looks like. So the app coordinator is um, follows the coordinator pattern and therefore it defines the start method. And this start method creates a view, con a view controller, sets that up. And um, it also has a navigation controller that is initialized in the initializer of my coordinator. And the navigation controller can also be pushed into that um, coordinator. For example, that is useful for testing. If I want to test if the navigation works as I want it to work, I use that in my tests and provide um, a mock navigation controller that is used in the tests. So I create the first view controller and I push it um, without animation onto the navigation stack. And then I return this navigation controller from the start method. So the calling call, the calling code, the scene delegate, uses the start method to create the navigation controller in this case and puts that or sets that up at the root, as the root view controller of the window. And then of course we have to call make key make key invisible, otherwise it doesn't work without the storyboard. Okay, so what is the, what does the app coordinator do? You might have seen that when I set up the postcard edition view controller, I set self, so the app coordinator instance as the delegate for the postcard editions view controller. Sadly, let's see how this looks like in the uh, view controller. So I have here the postcard editions view controller. This is just a list of postcard editions. The app allows to add additions to a postcard that are shown in augmented reality, IR kit. So um, when this initializer is called with the delegate, the delegate is set, is, is stored, and the delegate follows the postcard editions view controller protocol. This defines the methods that are needed to navigate to other view controllers. For example, there's a did select editions method. This is triggered when um, did select when in the table view did select row at index path is called and I first show an alert and if the user is happy with it, so yes, clicks yes, then this show record is called and this is um, eventually calls then the did select additions delegate method with this postcard edition. And this um, is then implemented in the app coordinator. You have seen that the app coordinator is the delegate for the postcard editions view controller. And as such, when did select addition is called, then this method is called. I create um, it creates 
an, another view controller, the details of the postcard editions, and then pushes that onto the navigation controller. So this means the app coordinator controls the navigation between those view controllers. The view controllers don't need to know if there are other view controllers or when they are shown. All that stuff is managed by the app coordinator or the coordinator in general. And this has, has the great advantage that when I want to change the navigation or when, when I want to change how the navigation works, for example, when I want to switch from a push navigation to a modal presentation, I just have to go to that app coordinator or to the coordinator that is managing this, um, this navigation. And there's another case um, in the app. I can, let me, let me show you how this looks like. I take some time because my computer is not the fastest one. But let's see how this looks like. So, it takes some time because it also has to load the, the simulator. So here we are. I always get those, those errors. I don't know what they mean. They are from Xcode, something I can't fix. I just ignore them. So here we have the plus, the plus button. And when I click the plus button, the new navigation is presented modally, um, screen full navigation. And this is managed by this Wait, I first show you in the postcard editions view controller where the plus button is. So we have um, a add button here. It's a bar button item, and this is added to the right bar button items. So this is the button. And when I click this button, this method add new is called. Let's switch to add new. And this calls just calls the delegate method. Did select add new. And the delegate method, as you already have seen, is managed by the app coordinator. So the app coordinator is called with did select add new. And then it also provides the view controller that triggered this, um, this call. And we create a new input, the new coordinator. It's called postcard editions input coordinator. And in this, we call the start method. And from the start method, when you remember, we get a view controller back. That's this, I call this next. I always use next to figure out what's done in this uh, method, that this is the next view controller to present. And this is what's happened here. I get the next view controller, the coordinator managed what view controller that is. If, if it's a, I don't know, um, a page view controller or a navigation controller, just a plain view controller. I don't care in this moment because the coordinator is, is um, responsible for deciding what to do. I just get the view controller back and present it on the view controller that triggered this, this method here. And this is all I do. And then the, the postcard editions input coordinator is responsible for the navigation of this modal presentation. This is how I like to, to manage my navigation in my UI kit um, applications. Here again, the coordinator, it has one method, the start method, and that re returns a, view I con a UI view controller. If you haven't used coordinator pattern yet, I highly recommend to try it out. I even worked on, on Swift UI applications um, and then I added a coordinator there as well because I didn't like how Swift UI um, often in those examples from Apple, they have the next view that is shown already in the view. So the view knows what is shown next. I don't like that at all. Um, navigation in Swift UI is still something I, I'm not really satisfied how it works and I would like to have something like the coordinator there as well. I tried to work on something that looks like a coordinator but it was it, it felt a bit artificial to use there. So it's more natural to use in, in a UI kit project. 
So let me know what you, if you use coordinator pattern and how your coordinator protocol looks like. And um, this is all I wanted to show you today and see you next time. Bye.